As well as being responsible for huge amounts of damage and loss, the Christchurch earthquakes have also created uncertainty, confusion and frustration as homeowners battle to have their properties repaired. One solution to this problem is to opt out of the EQC repair program and have an independent company such as Fixit oversee and manage your repairs. Opting out from EQC and having your repairs done by Fixit is a great choice. We're the original opt-out provider with over 350 Christchurch homes repaired, so we have a good relationship with EQC and a better understanding of their processes. We provide you with a personal service and we're with you all the way through. For people new to the opt-out process, there are many questions about what's involved. Let's go through step by step and see how it works. Step 1. In the first step, you'll meet with us and talk about what outcomes you want. Together, we go through your house and check the accuracy of your EQC scope of works to see if anything has been missed. This helps to decide if opting out is the right process for you. If it is, then we provide you with the correct form to sign and submit to EQC. Step 2. You submit the completed and signed opt-out form to EQC. This is a good time to contact your insurer if you think you'll need to move out while repairs are done. Step 3. EQC will respond to you to acknowledge they've received your opt-out form. Step 4. EQC will schedule a site visit to reassess your property. We'll also attend this meeting so we can assist you to get the best outcome. This is part of Fixit's commitment to helping you through the entire opt-out process. Step 5. EQC, yourself and Fixit meet on site to do a walkthrough of the property. We use the original EQC scope of works as a starting point for a complete reassessment. At this point, we will raise any items that we think EQC have missed and they will make a ruling as to whether they will allow the item to be added to the scope of works. Step 6. EQC will provide you with a revised version of the scope of works, which should include all the items discussed at the site meeting. You then forward this revised scope of works to us. Step 7. Together we review the revised scope of works to make sure it matches what was agreed to at the site meeting. If there are errors, we immediately go back to EQC to get them fixed. Step 8. Once the scope of works has been correctly updated, we provide you with a quote that reflects the new scope. After we discuss the quote and you approve it, you can submit it to EQC or we're happy to do it on your behalf. Step 9. EQC and Fixit will negotiate over pricing and reach an agreement. Step 10. EQC will provide you with written approval to proceed with the repairs. You can then forward this on to us and the work can begin.